I think um, glad to be here. Appreciate you guys having me on. You know, I think that the biggest thing that we're doing, we're just trying to take it one day at a time. You know, we've you got a new staff. Um, we signed, you know, over 30 players in the first signing period. So when we got here, we had around over 30 players in the portal. So we're on phase one, really taking a lot of steps um, daily. I'm trying to build this program and get it to be a consistent winner uh, year in, year out, and excited about the challenge. Uh, we understand that it's going to be a, a marathon, not a sprint, but like we say, Ryan, we're, we're sprinting to get there. So um, we'll start with that. All right, we'll open up now for questions for our media on the call. Raise your hand, and I'll call on you to ask those questions. Uh, Joe, let's go ahead and kick it over to you to start. Hey, Coach. Um, you know, in the off season, obviously, uh, you came over here from New Mexico. Um, saw your name on a few other, you know, lists of desirable candidates for some of the other open jobs. Um, what about this opening at ULM felt like the right fit for you? You know, I think that throughout our coaching careers, you know, our experiences and, and kind of what we've been through and our path and our journey kind of lead us, you know, to opportunities and, and something that you know, God's plan for me, and, and this is real throughout my coaching career, even as a high school coach, I've been part of rebuilds, you know, even from Greenville High School, um, where they were one and nine, two and eight, and, and we were able to be successful that first year. Uh, went 10 and three to Spanish Fort, 0 and 17 when we went in there to be able to turn that program around to, to joining South Alabama um, and helping start that program of really coming in that second year of of division one status and, and going to UAB with Bill Clark, they've been to one bowl game in 28 years, um, several years, you know, of having, you know, down years and, and turning that program around to, then you go to New Mexico where they were the worst offense or statistically, you know, one of the lesser offenses in the country, a couple of years in a row to going out there and being, you know, the biggest turnaround in college football to, this opportunity at ULM and, you know, I spent six years in the Sun Belt and came over here and played these guys and they were always tough. And the people in Northeast Louisiana, you know, they, they love football. Um, there's a lot of, there's tradition here. When you look at the history of a program and you see, you know, that they have won, that they have won a national championship, that they had some good years in the FCS back when they were in NLU and, and this area and this region and the talent that is in a five hour radius to this town, it, it just, it's all about the people. The people are here. Um, you know, John Hartwell, our athletic director, you know, he was, he was at Ole Miss as an assistant. He was athletic director at Troy with Larry Blakeney and, and Neil Brown. And then he goes to Utah state, just, Having him as our athletic director, a guy that gets it, um, a guy that does a phenomenal job, you know, even with Dr. Barry, our president who who hired me, um, his support. So we have alignment here. There's a ton of potential. Uh, we know we've got a big challenge in front of us, but these are the kind of jobs that really throughout my career, these are the ones in it that, that the opportunities and being God's plan that that really put me through these and all the past experiences have really, in my mind, have prepared me to, to help ULM be successful and to turn this program around. You had a, I don't have the exact number from me, but you had a, about half a dozen guys from your New Mexico offense join you at ULM uh, this off season. What does it mean to just, you know, have the, the trust of those guys and, and be someone that they wanted to follow across the country? I think that's what this whole thing's about. You know, it's what it's been about throughout my career. Um, it's about the players and it's about relationships. It's about, you know, forming a bond and people say family and they break it down on family and they talk, but I don't, it's not just words here and it's not just words really throughout, you know, the, the career and the journey of this thing. It's about the players and, and having a high school background, you know, my first 12, 13 years of coaching, it, it's all about the relationships and leading men and mentoring men. And when kids, they know if it's real or not, they know if it's genuine and what you see is what you get with us. And 
I think it says a lot, man. You know, when a kid sits there and says, Coach, where you're going, I'm going with you, let's go. And, and even goes back to taking, you know, Dylan Hopkins, the starter from UAB, <clears throat> out there, and he followed me to, to, UL, to New Mexico. So that's what this whole thing's about, man. It's about these kids. It's about leading them and loving them and, and getting them to do things that – that they didn't even know they could do. And last one for me, um, whether it's scheme, um, habits, whatever it may be, what do you think is the biggest um, priority for your team in terms of getting ready for your first season here? You know, we're, we're in a unique situation, you know, even in today's college football, because when we, when I came into this job day one, we had over 30 guys in the portal. So, you know, you're looking at almost a third or a fourth of your team is in the portal. We didn't go after them. Uh, we didn't try to talk them into staying. Um, to me, I want guys that want to be here. Uh, we're not begging anybody to play at ULM. We've got a great school. We've got a great town. We've got a beautiful campus. And we've got an opportunity here, you know, to make history. It's it's the same situation that we really had to going into, into UAB. It's the same opportunity. Yeah, we want guys that want to come here, that want to get a degree from ULM, that want to be a part of the group that comes in and turns this program around and wins the first bowl game, that plays for the first conference championship and wins it. Um, that's who we want here. Tough kids that, you know, playing for each other still means something. And we've recruited that, that we own who we are. We own what we're about. That's been the message. We've had a, a great class jump in and want that mission and, and be a part of that journey. We feel like we had a really good signing class in December. Um, we signed 11 more in February. We're going to bring in around 29 more the end of May. You know, as the first step, the first phase, really to, to start the process of building this roster to where we want it. Um, so, you know, you influx 40 guys new into a locker room with a new staff. Uh, you know, you've got to build that bond. You've got to build that chemistry. They've got to get to know each other. They've all got to invest and put in the same price as each other. And then they all have to believe in the same standards and the same, the same mission from how we, you know, conduct ourselves in the locker room, how each locker is supposed to look, um, study hall, class, how we act on campus. You know, there's a certain way that, that these guys have got to embrace and really believe in, in what we do and how we do it. I think we're off to a great start. We're in phase two. We had a great phase one. Um, but also see these guys are hungry. They want change. You know, we, we've probably got about 37 to 38 guys off last year's roster that, um, that are good players, man, and that they want to win. They want change. Anytime you've been burned and you've been beaten up, you know, you got two responses. You, you either take it and you walk away or you stand up to it and you look it in the eye and you say, let's, we're going to change it. But the only way you're going to change it is one day at a time. One day at a time. Can we be consistent daily? Okay. And and now can we be consistent weekly? And then is that is this something we can become? You know, not only as a man and as an individual, but then can you do it as a team? And that's what I'm seeing these guys take steps in. So. I like our progress. I like where we're going. We've got a long way to go, and we understand that. But are we willing to embrace the fight daily to get there? And and, and we're starting to really see that the, probably the last two or three weeks. Thank you. Coach, you've talked a lot about the, the amount of new blood in the program, but but with that, how important is the veteran leadership of a guy like an Aiden Huntington who was all-conference last year? I think it's critical. You know, it's critical because talent's one thing, but leadership is the next thing. And, and as you all know, when when you start and you come in fresh and you've had a program that's been down for, for a couple years, um, you know, it's it's coach driven early. You know, it's coach driven early and that's normal. But how fast can we get it to be player driven? How fast can we? get the players to start driving the bus, you know, and until it becomes player driven, um, you're never going to reach the heights and the success that you want. And that's, you're striving for daily. 
until the players really embrace it and own it and, and you start seeing guys like Aiden lead. Because we've got some guys, you know, but the leadership is what really gives you a chance to get over the hump. 